Okay guys, today we're going to be discussing a product that I found online that I ended up purchasing, actually two of them, and really liking. Um, I think it's something that could benefit pretty much everybody out there, so I want to discuss this product called Mistbox. Again, I'm not being compensated for this by Mistbox. Um, they have no idea I'm even producing this video. Hopefully, eventually they'll find out. Just a product I found online, purchased two of them, installed them on my AC units, really like them. And my idea is, I'm going to show you today what I like about it, how they work, why you probably should have one, um, some tips and tricks that maybe aren't included in the instruction manual that, that I learned kind of the hard way to help you with the install. We're going to go through an actual install and hopefully I'm going to have a follow-up video down the road and show you actually when, when I can see how much money I'm saving. Unfortunately, I installed this the last month or two of the summer, so I didn't really have a lot of comparison to make um, and now it's it's fall, winter time. But uh, hopefully I'm going to do a follow-up video later when I can show you exactly how it works. So let's talk about how it works. So right here, basically the way this box works is it's going to, it's using evaporative cooling. It's going to spray a mist around your AC unit so that the air going into your, the AC unit on your outside of your house. So the air coming in is cooler than, than the ambient temperature. And, and you've probably experienced this before if, if you don't live in one of the colder climates. But if you live anywhere where it gets hot during the summer, you've probably been to a place, a park, or amusement park, or one of those places where they have a misting station. Um, even our zoo here, here down south has a misting station during the summer. And they just spray a mist out. And it, it's, you can walk through it. You don't really get wet, but the air is much cooler there. And it's much cheaper to spray a fine mist of water than it is to run an AC unit. So that's the concept here. We're going to spray a fine mist of water around your AC unit and the air coming into it is going to be cooler and the, the AC unit has to do less work. It's able to cool your house down quicker which means it runs less time and that reduces your electric bill. They purport a savings up to 30%. Now that's in the more more arid climate so you're talking about maybe out where it's a little drier than here is here in the south. Obviously you know when you're talking about here in the south it's usually very humid but it, it's going to work here as well maybe not as well but i'm going to give that a shot later down the down the line so the way it works is evaporative cooling you spray a mist out that mist of water absorbs some of the heat in the the ambient temperature and that causes that mist to evaporate and when when that mist evaporates it takes heat with it thereby cooling the area down so that's how it works i'm not going to get into the complete science behind it because you don't need to know the science you understand that when it's moist in the air, it's cooler, and you can probably understand how that would work for your air conditioning unit. And the concept behind this is, for the most part, the water it's required, the water that you use to do evaporative cooling is much less expensive than the electricity required for your air conditioner to run. And that's why these places have misting stations instead of air conditioned rooms. It's just cheaper to spray a mist of water. So let's take a look at this. Here's just a, this is from their website. Hopefully they don't mind. It has wireless built into it. Wi-Fi connects to your house. You are not required to use the Wi-Fi. It is just so you can basically take a look at the unit using their app and track your savings, things like that. Not required. It works just fine. Has a solar panel on top, so you don't have to plug it in. There's no electricity required. It says computer optimized control. Um, the part I want you to take away from there is it only operates when the temperature is correct. I think by default that's 79 degrees or higher Fahrenheit. It uses sound and magnetic field to determine when your air conditioner is running. So it can sense the actual current being supplied to your air conditioner when, when your air conditioner is running and electricity is flowing through it. It generates a magnetic field. It can detect that or it can use sound. So it uses a combination of both to only spray a mist when your AC is running and the temperature is below um, the set point or higher than the set point. And it has a built-in AC, a uh, built-in filter to help protect uh, the help, a built-in water filter, so that the um, water being sprayed out, you know, has got all the impurities removed. And here you can see what they're talking about: easy installation, up and running with three easy steps. Realistically, you can have this thing installed, not including Wi-Fi setup, less than five minutes. There's nothing to it. It's usually one screw, and then some zip ties or clips. You're going to see how easy it is because we're going to do this. So instead of me just talking about it, um, let's get started to it. I want to talk about two things real quick first. First of all, when I bought this, it was pretty much online. It's gotten so popular you can get Mistbox at most lows now. 
So go to their website, take a look at that. The other thing that's even better, I do think the product's a tad expensive, um, especially for what you get. It, it's pretty pricey. However, if it can save the money that they claim it can save, well worth it. Also, when you buy these, you get a 30% um, tax credit with it. So 30% of the purchase price, you can actually take off your taxes. When you factor all that in, I think it's going to be well worth it in the long run. So let's get started with the install and we'll go from there. All right, let's get to the install. So basically when you open the box, this is what you're going to see. You're going to get a mist box unit covered in plastic. And I'll discuss the packaging in a minute. I know it's pretty irrelevant. But, you know, first impressions are are always the best. And I, got, I just got to say, I'm very impressed with the packaging. I know that makes no difference whatsoever in the world. But it's nice when you open a box and... It's just presented in a, in a nice way like this, so I feel like we're off to a good start. I mean, you know how it is. Sometimes you're open packaging and, and you're like, wow, could you have spent any less money on marketing and, and making things actually look exciting? On, but I can't say that about this. Again, I know it has nothing to do with performance. So pop open the box, flip it over. you got your instruction manual. I'm going to go through that with you. you got an AC adapter. Uh, I assume the AC adapter is probably if you needed to use it in the house to set it up, or maybe if you, maybe if your location, if you're putting it in a location that just doesn't get enough sunlight, you got your spray bars and a packet of zip ties and clips. So you have everything you need. So let me move the box so you can kind of see what we're looking at. Manual, AC adapter, your mist box, your zip ties, and your spray bar assembly with tubing. And it's also got the valve you need that connects to the water filter. So this is literally everything that comes in the box. Again, um, I own two of these, so I've already set one of these up. I've got a little bit of experience, and I wanted to wait till I'm setting the second one up to kind of show you what you're up against and kind of show you what I've learned. So let's take it from there. Let's pull up the manual. You see here the first steps down with the app. I'm not going to tell you how to do that because hopefully you can figure that out, whether you have an iOS, an Apple device, or Android. I use an Android. So download the app. You need to record your serial number. You really don't need to, and you're going to see why. And then you have to choose a location. And this is really, it's got to be to the left, but this is really important if you have two units because you don't want this one to go off when the other unit, when your second unit or third unit comes on. So you see here that you have to attach the, the mist box to your AC unit. The most um, typical approach is with screws. It's got three holes at the top, so you can pretty much find an area to attach it to. Um, it's nothing nothing real hard about that at all. I think you'll find that it's easy. You also have to attach the antenna. We're going to go through all of that. And the most important thing is that it's mounted to the left of your unit. So turn it around backwards. You'll see you have this serial number sticker where you see my thumb right here. It's a little sticker. And you just need to pull this sticker off. So you pull it off. And there's a little magnet behind it. When you remove that magnet, it activates the mist box. So it basically just turned on. You can see the whole screen's full of icons now. So now it's ready to go, ready to be installed. So without further ado, let's go to my AC unit. And you'll see I'm, I've picked this location to the left, which is what the manual recommends. I already removed one of the screws from the top. So I removed the screw that was there, and I'm reinstalling it with the screw included with the mist box. Now there's three holes at the top. If there was a, any place on here where you could get two screws in it, if you have a location like that to your left, do it. If not, just go with the one screw. And I'm gonna show you the technique I use to overcome what I, what I deem as kind of a, a problem, maybe a problem that I just had. So just like the manual, we're gonna install the antenna, screw it on. Again, you are not required to use Wi-Fi for this. It just allows you to basically track its status, its battery level, the filter, level and also to see your savings and that kind of thing but you could choose to just install this without ever connecting it to the app or wi-fi and it's going to work just fine so here's my tip if you're only installing one screw i recommend you take a couple zip ties included and i recommend that you zip tie the filter area or just the base of the mist box I recommend that you zip tie it to the unit so that it can't obviously with one screw at the top it's kind of like a swing it's just a pendulum and if you don't do this zip tie you could potentially bump it or hit it with anything and and damage the piping or the valve and I know this because I did so you see what I'm doing on my second unit I'm zip tying the water filter to the unit you know zip ties are expendable you can buy them 
you know, for less than a penny. I'm just going to zip tie it so it can't swing. That's just a little tip I have. So let me, I'm going to cut the end off the zip tie. And then as far as I'm concerned, the unit is actually installed. We just need to get the spray bars installed, which is the obvious next step. So let's take a look at the manual again. You'll see here that we've got to install the spray bars. You've got to plug the valve into the bottom of the filter. You want to install it about a third of the way down on your unit. And then it covers how to extend and retract the black tubing. You extend it by pushing down on the collet. It's just the end of the, the spray tube. There's a little plastic piece. And you can retract it by just pushing the black tubing in. Nothing to this. This isn't, this isn't rocket surgery, as I'm sure most of you are familiar with. So let's get that installed. You simply press this valve up into the water filter. Done. And this is the problem I had. I didn't secure my mist box unit initially. And by not doing so, I think I bumped it and I broke that valve down there that I just inserted. Here's where their support comes in. They are awesome. I uh, emailed support. Within a day, I got, an ant, I got a response, no problem. And I had a new uh, valve on the way to me for free. Even though completely pretty sure of my mistake. I'm not blaming anybody else. Maybe the dog did it. So I, you have two methods. You can use the clips included or the zip ties. I tried the clips, not a huge fan of the clips. Um, they work. I like the zip ties just because they allow you to secure it so you know it's not going to go anywhere. And, and also, the great thing I really like about the zip ties is they allow you, before you really tighten them down, you can be sure that the nozzles are angled exactly the way they should be, which is directly out from the unit. You don't want them spraying up at an angle or down at an angle. You want them spraying directly away. So that's why I like the zip ties. So here I'm gonna, I'm basically retracting the black tube into this um, nozzle by, or the spray bar by pushing it. You may have to do both sides. Um, you have to push some of the black tubing in on both sides to get, to shorten it to the length you want. Not the end of the world. If the tubing is kind of um, hanging down, I just preferred mine to look a little better. You also notice that the first one I installed next to the unit, it is not one third of the way down. If you want to get technical, it's closer to a half the way down. However, this one is a third of the way down. And I finally figured that out by actually counting the number of squares on that little metal grid. Um, so just complete this process, work away around your unit. And that's pretty much it to the installation. Now you'll see the last step is connecting it to water. And then, of course, the final step, connecting it to your Wi-Fi, which I'm also going to go through if you, you know, want to go that way. And why wouldn't you if you're buying a, a smart unit like this? So let's get it connected to water. comes with a little brass adapter. You just plug it in right here next to the filter. This is simply a little adapter that lets you plug your water hose in. I have two units, as you've heard me mention. So I had to go buy a Y splitter at Lowe's just so I could split my water hose um, to cover both units. So here's what I've got, just a little, I bought a little short section of water hose in my case. I'm just going to connect it and make sure it's nice and tight once you get it um, securely fastened. Kind of the final step in the actual installation is simply to go turn the water on. And if your AC unit is running like mine is, it should kick on immediately. So look at there, turn the water on. We've got a mist spring. Again, I haven't configured this. It's just going to work. You don't have to connect it to your Wi-Fi for it to work. So all we did was, um, or all I did was turn the water on. And here we have the mist spraying on the unit doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And we're technically done. The unit will continue to work and it'll work as designed without us ever connecting it to the Wi-Fi. But if you're going to buy this, I highly recommend that you, you connect it so that you can keep an eye on it, monitor it. I mean, that's part of the part of the fun of owning something like this. So let's do that. Here's the app on my Android. Just going to, first screen you can see is going to be just beginning. So continue, then you need to add basically your address and you have to name the unit. That's just in case you have two units. Then you need to type in the serial number for your unit. It's going to tell you to connect the antenna, which we've already done. So nothing to do here. Then you're going to hold the water drop button down for 10 seconds. That puts the unit in the pairing mode. And then it tells you to connect your device to the Mistbox SSID. 
So let's go to my device. Here are my SSIDs, and you'll see Mistbox just pops up. I'm going to connect to it. No, no password or anything needed. Give it just a couple seconds. It gets connected. Then I'm going to switch back over to the Mistbox app. Be patient. Just wait for it. And in a few seconds, it's going to be connected. Now it's asking you to select your Wi-Fi at home. So I selected mine. Certainly not going to show you my Wi-Fi password. And then give it some more time. And basically, you've just told the Mist box how to connect to your Wi-Fi at home. So that's what it's doing now. It's attempting to connect to mine. It says it may take a few minutes. Mine wasn't nearly that long. And then, bam, congratulations, we're connected. So let's click Continue. And the next step is it wants you to set up your AC unit. So you need to know the square footage of your home and, of course, your details about your AC unit. So type in your square footage and the manufacturer and model. Now it needs to know your electric company. Actually, it just needs to know your kilowatt hour price. And then the same for your water company, the price per thousand gallons. You can get this from your bills. Nothing hard here. Congratulations. We're set up. Good to go. So let's see. Here's my two units. Let me click on one. This is the initial screen that loads. Just kind of shows you the unit and the weather. And if you go to the bottom and click the savings tab, this apparently does not work yet. I talked to support. They said there's a new version coming out that will keep track of your savings and show you this. But apparently at the point at this point it does not work. Then you have a status tab. Shows you what's going on. You can see all systems go. Shows you whether or not you're in water saver mode and shows you how much battery you have remaining and also how much filter life you have remaining. So that's about it. Really, I mean, this is something so simple anyone could set up. Not hard to do at all. And I look forward to seeing what my savings will be next year. I, I can't imagine how this doesn't save me money. That combined with the tax credit you get, I, I just feel like it's a no-brainer. So hopefully... Give it, a, give it a shot when summer comes around and you need this, and um, hopefully I can save you some money as well. I uh, would love to hear any of your feedback if you already have one of these units, or um, just tell me what you think. All right, um, see you guys soon on the other side. Thanks.